Good morning. How are you? Good to see you. Hi. This Do you morning. have the discharge instructions? Yeah, yeah we're just. I'm just going to pass off, and Nora's going to be taking care of the discharge instructions. I'll gonna, be the nurse yeah. taking care of you today. We're going to start an extra line on you. Here at UCLA School of Nursing, simulation is a very important piece of the training. It takes a student out of a lecture hall and puts them more into a clinical setting. We have mannequins that have ability to mimic a lot of different patient aspects. They're able to breathe, their chest rises, they have coughing, wheezing, lung sounds, crackles. A lot of the higher tech mannequins actually sweat. We can change their pupil sizes and by computer we also can change any vital sign similar to a real patient. It's a way to get the students more engaged and to get those clinical experiences uh, such that they don't have to actually practice on real patients. ICU simulations are to mimic the environment in an ICU to add some extra stress, to add some extra equipment that the nurses have now been trained on, and then depict some kind of event that would be typical for an ICU and see how they can react to that event and intervene to make the patient better. There's a lot of instances where things happen right away, you have to respond right away. It's been able to help me practice my emotions, help me practice how I deal with things. What's great about simulation is that the student actually gets immersed into a situation. When they get to the ICU environment, it's not foreign to them. The leadership simulation that we do is done for senior students who are nearing graduation. We have five patient beds with mannequins simulating an actual clinical floor. You come in and your nurse will give you maybe like a fast report, they have to go somewhere. He's a 60 year old male that was admitted several days ago for an exacerbation of his asthma. You go to your patient rounds and you go, first patient, okay, you check on them. How are you feeling? Like dizzy? Yeah. But then you hear like a bell from another, another room. Okay, I'll let her know. I'll be quick, okay. The goal is to give them a little bit of stress because we want them to be able to think as a nurse and to be able to think on their feet. So Mr. Salter, you're having um, very low blood pressure. It can certainly be that chaotic during the day and that's why we have this for practice to put us in those situations so we can learn how to think, what to do. After each of the simulations, it's really important to come together and have a debriefing. The whole point of the debriefing really is for them to reflect on what they were thinking when they did different things, and then if they would do anything different, how would they do it different? It's really helped us um, boost our confidence and also helped apply everything we learned in the books to what we see in the real world. The goal of simulation here at UCLA is to send students out into the clinical world more prepared and better able to tackle some of the more difficult types of cases that they're going to come upon.